Good day, Fat Island felons. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Monkey Island 2, the Chuck's Revenge. Last time out, we came to Fat Island. That's Captain Dredd's ship. We managed to successfully get off of Scab Island after using the voodoo doll. We have that in the inventory still. The voodoo doll on Largo Le Grand. But now we've made it to Fat Island where we are wanted. At least somebody gave us a snazzy moustache for our wanted poster. If you want to know what we're wanted for, that's in the last episode, which is in the top right corner of the screen. There-ish. Oh, there's a path over there. We are going to have to explore that. But we want to go here to the library. There's Alley. We found that out at the end of the last episode. Alley and Alley. And then a path. So, oh, open the door. And in. We've got a card catalog. We've got a model lighthouse. We get, which we can open. This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. Indeed it does. Excuse me. Can we open it? There's a model lighthouse lens inside. This is a library. Wow. What a cow. All right, let's, let's take the lens. It looks powerful. Please be quiet. Holy crap. <laughs> We're getting cursed out by some old librarian. I don't take that. I mean, what the hell? It's got to be there for a reason. There's books. There's so many books here. I'll never be able to find anything. You're disturbing people. Is there actually anyone else in here? Sorry, let's let's look. No, she's literally the only other person here. There's books. There's books. There's a librarian. She looks kind of surly. Lower your voice. Surly is one way of putting it, Gorbush. Ah, now, see right there? That's the LucasArts logo. Yes, it is. If we push F1 and go to the old-timey logo. Ah, no, because the old LucasArts logo, let's flash it on the screen right now. Thank you. I'm used to that from, like, the old-timey uh, Star Wars games here. Actually, basically everything pre-2000, I think, had that old LucasArts L as opposed to the, as opposed to the sun thing over the over that guy there. I don't know if that was something that came around with the prequels. I just... No, definitely not Episode 1. I think I would remember it because I have an Episode 1 game on the PS1. If I can ever dig that up, maybe I'll do an LP. No, I won't. God, it was awful. It's a movie tie-in. All right. So we're looking for books. Can't take out a book without a library card. One step at a time, hint system. Let's use the card catalog. Now we need to find books on Big Whoop B. Adult Entertainment, Zelda Carbuncle Tells All, Memoirs of a Dubious Ple a Woman of Dubious Pleasure. Animatron Animatronics by Walt Whimsy. Animatronics Under the Surface by Walt Whimsy. No, no, no. I want this. Annotation, see footnoting. So we are going to have to. Vagueness is an art form. Huh, that sounds like art. Huh. X never marks the spot. That sounds. Big whoop. See treasure. Okay. So, uh, T for treasure. Tattoos? Why check stig tattoos? Tattoo sin... <laughs> Tattoo-related skin infections. A child's first book of tattoos. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's in a funky spot there. T, the Tea Party Massacre. Hang on. If I, if I flipped that... No, it's still the Tea Party Massacre. All right. Not that the Tea Party has been massacred in America. 30 things that taste terrific on toast. I'll have to remember that one. Three-headed, <laughs> three-headed monkey. Oh my god! I'm looking for treasure, toenails, toys, travel, treasure. Big whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? Big whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I assume that option is there for a reason. Trilogies. My people who won't read. My people won't read trilogy, trilogies. I'm surprised. Somehow. 
why people shouldn't write trilogies. Now, keeping in mind 1991, okay? 1991, when this game originally came out, was also the first or the same year that the first Star Wars Expanded Universe novel, like the first modern Expanded Universe novel for Star Wars came out, the Thrawn Trilogy that uh, came out this year. So I'm trying to remember Heir to the Empire. That's what it was called. I was trying to remember what the first Thrawn book by Tim Zahn was. So it was Heir to the Empire. And yeah, that's all of that. Now, what else am I going to need? Could, could I use a voodoo book? Oops, no. I'm trying to think, what do I need? Like the big whoop one seems like the most important one. As I know we got a voodoo book from our friend the voodoo lady. So I'm just wondering. See, recipes voodoo. Okay, I guess recipes voodoo it is. We'll start from the back. Romance. Yearnings yellowing yesterdays. Okay. Romance, 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 romance. Jesus. Romance next to... What? <laughs> Romance Next to Nothing by E. Marley, an account of her time with Guybrush Threepwood. Two things. One, Elaine wrote a book about me, about Guybrush, really. The second thing, next to nothing, at this time didn't mean anything. But now it's, uh, now it is, who's uh, Breaking Benjamin next to nothing, right? You know, Hogan, Krogan, Schmogan, Nogan, next to nothing. You know. Next to nothing. Another one of those times when my Scott Stapp comes in handy. Next to nothing. Next to nothing. Get it right, Guybrush. Referential obscuritan obscuritanism. All right. Recipes vo Oh! Recipes Voodoo. I will remember that. The Joy of Hex. Hmm. I'll have to remember that. Anything else I'm going to need from this draw? You need to retrieve the four map pieces of Big Whoop. Well, I mean, we've got... The one Big Whoop. Yeah, that was a good lucky guess. We got the one... Big... Both hands moving the stand story. Fantastic. Both hands empty. The Herman Toothrot story. Both heads empty. The Fettuccini Brothers story. All right, let's keep going. A fistful of barnacles. Journal of Captain Twiddlymore. The Lick the Silver Spoon. L. Fat. Governor Fat, I assume. Me and Blackbeard. The time I blew up. <laughs> Chuck, questionable memoirs of Guybrush Threepwood. Yikes, a cap, uh, members of Captain Gilbert, and unusual birthmarks, all right, all right. So. Games, genealogy, history. Now what about, it's Inky Island they think it's on, right? Jackalope, Indian Burns, Indices, Inferiority Complex. Jellyfish, jelly, jackalope. Internal Revenue Service, see imaginary numbers, all right. So, I don't think Inky Island exists on here, all right. Now, that made me think of something else I wanted to look up. Maps, maps, we were looking for maps, right? Labyrinths, language. Lice, that's always important. Void lice, manatees, military, maze construction, mathematics, martial arts, lyrics, rock and ranch, magic, see voodoo, and for. And we took a look at voodoo over here. Vision, volcanoes, wallpaper, waiting, vulgarity, voodoo. All right. So we got a book on Big Whoop. We've got our me Elaine's memoir of 
her time with Guybrush, and we've got a book on voodoo. I'm inclined to say that's probably a start, unless the hint system says otherwise, and the hint system isn't going to help, so let's just check out. And talk to the library. And I need some books. Hi, I'm looking for a book. Shh! This is a library! Whisper! Now, what is it? You're still louder than us, don't you realize it? I'm looking for a book. I'm looking for a book? Do you have a library card? Well, the voodoo lady has one. No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? Guybrush Streepwood, Herman Dread, or Captain Dread, and Herman Toothrot. Herman's the crazy old fella from the last game. Guybrush Streepwood. Address? 221B Baker Street, 10 Downing, 1060 West Addison, and 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Now, I recognize three of those. 221B Baker Street is the address of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson. There's 10 Downing Street, the home of the Prime Minister of England. Uh, I don't know what 1060 West Addison is. And 1600 Penn is where Donald Trump has, you know, well, let's say Trump Tower South. Trump House South. Trump House Middle, since it's not Mar-a-Lago and it's not New York. Yeah, that might be a bit more accurate. And after a quick Google, 1060 West Addison is the home of Wrigley Field, where the Chicago Cubs play baseball. So there, you learn something new every day. My cousin, uh, my cousin Looms, just went there not too long ago. He actually went to Wrigley for a ball game when the Jays were playing there last summer. So that's, uh, I guess, ah, screw it, 221B. 221B Baker Street? Age. <laughs> um, 21, er, 21, 19, uh, 21. So. Uh, 21. Occupation. Consultant, freelance, unemployed, pirate. Quite frankly, um, hmm. He is, he's quite freelance. Freelance. Vices. Nose picking, jay walking, murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. Let's, let's see what that does. Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. Huzzah! You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? That's one way to introduce a mechanic. I need Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza, or Myth. What a smile. <laughs> to be honest, I have a rolly chair at my day job. I, I roll around on it every chance I get. You've already checked that book out, Mr. Threepwood. Anything else? Oh. Uh, can I get the Joy of Hex? Could you find the Joy of Hex? Okay. Here you go. Anything else? I, I would like to read next to nothing. Could you find next to nothing? There it is. I wonder what it was next to. Okay, here you go. Anything else? Concept art unlocked. No, I think I'm good for now. I won't be needing any more books just now. Remember, books are the treasure of the mind. I was waiting for a backhanded shot at the video game. All right. Is there anything that you think I'm missing? Because we've got... Let's take a look. We've got... Oh, Big Whoop. We, we've heard about... We've read that. Uh, then we got The Joy of Hex. And Next to Nothing. Next to Nothing. If you can't say something nice, you're not supposed to say anything at all. Much less write a whole book. <laughs> what about The Joy of Hex? The Joy of Hex. I think it's meant for advanced voodoo practitioners. The writing's way too technical for me. Oh. Well. Uh, 
narcissism, feeling good about narcissism. I can think of somebody, we can just mail that to 1600 pen. Confessions of a narcoleptic. L Dianetics by L. Ron Gilbert. All right, there's two jokes there. If memory serves, Dianetics has something to do with Scientology. I think that's how they measure my um, Scientologist bullshit anyway. And it's by, it's, um, was it L. Ron Hubbard? Is that who's the Scientology dude? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And Ron Gilbert, of course, is the guy behind this game. So there you go. You get some. You get a little insight into behind the scenes. This is where how to give good noogies. I, I'm just. I'm just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. But there was absolutely nothing for Inky Island. So that's what's throwing me right now because it would seem. That Inky Island and maps are two things that would be kind of critical to our ongoing our ongoing adventures. So, well, we can always carry on and see what happens. Uh, left alley, right alley. Always go right. Right? And we can try the path after we investigate the alleys. Oh, um, check the door, then. What do you want, kid? Uh, who are you and what are you doing now? I'm styling these fine leather jackets. Have you heard the legend of the mighty Guybrush? Open up this array. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to disturb you. Huh. Have you ever heard the legend of the mighty Guybrush? Well, don't you want to hear it again? I, I guess not. You again? Who are you, and what are you doing back there? I'm Bruno, and that's none of your business. Get lost. Okay. Well, that was a successful adventure. I think maybe we should check the other alley instead. Probably somebody equally as friendly. No more bets. Okay, here we go. So what have we got here? A spinning wheel, bets... Man, and a very interesting... Well, take your pick, actually. The fella with the big nose, take your pick, honestly. One guy's... The guy on the left is dressed like a Christmas elf. And the other one's dressed Nine like... Red. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, hmm. and a three-day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. I'd like the money. The money it is. I get the feeling that we need to win. You can't win if you don't play. Quiet, I'm talking. I get the feeling. Big prizes for just one piece okay. of Okay, I need to get away from him so I can talk. I get the feeling we need to play that. So that way we can win the uh, invitation to... Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party. I feel as though that wouldn't be mentioned at, unless... Hang on, you just came out of that alley. Interesting. What have we got here? No more bets? Okay, here we go. It's a good thing I took a time to just kind of flesh out what I was thinking, but we need to get to Governor Marley's party. So we need to win. Hopefully he does not take the invitation to Governor Marley's party. Otherwise, we're going to have to cost him and beat him over the head with whatever we don't have in our inventory that would help us with that endeavor. 26 black. All right. You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. At least he took the cash and put it into his magic trousers there. Now... Care to make a bet? No, because I'm following him. He's going into that alley again. All right, let's follow. Now, oh, there he is. Skulk in the background. Give me the next number. First, give me the password. If this is one, what's this? Five. Right. The winning number will be 21 red. Thanks. 
How the hell does that work? If five is one, why was two five? It's okay. Hang on. I'm looking at I, that Roman numerals. No, you can do lots of Roman numerals that look like a V. Hmm. I just want to see. Can we get this to trigger again? Without him doing the invitation. Otherwise, we're just going to have to load and do it all over again. No more bets? Okay, here we go. I get the feeling he's going to do the money again. But I just want to see him do the password thing again. So, if 5 is 1 and the devil horn 2 is 5, how the hell does that work? Unless... 21 red. All right! You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. So I think he only takes I the money. That's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Well, shit. Is he not going to go back? Big prizes. Shut for up. Just one piece of eight. Ah, crap. Now we gotta figure this out ourselves. Alright. I think we can manage, maybe. Possibly. Mm -hmm. What do you want, kid? Like the next number, yes? What's the next winning number gonna be? Voice, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is five, what's this? Up yours, too. If this is five, it is a stupid password system. What was it he flashed us the first time? Two, one, no. If five is, if one, if five is one, two is five. So if two is five is one, two. That's the only two? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is two, what's this? I I didn't see what he did the first time. I I could not tell. It was was it was it two? two? No, it's one. Oh, was it okay? One the first time. All right. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? Now we've already done that. We, we, it's your hand, yes it is. We've already done, if five is one, then what's something else? We saw it was five. Five? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is five, what's this? It's the first number he flashes, I think, because that's what made, that's what it was the first time we saw it. If this is one, and he's showing you five, and then the answer was five. If this is one, if this being... Fuck, it was five, right? Five? No. Shit. It's three. Okay, we'll start over. I'm too much talking too much. Watch again. Either I don't get if it. this is three, what's this? Okay, so it's two, if my hypothesis is right. The fingers is X, then what is Y? Then it Y is the original fingers. Two? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is two... What's this? So he doesn't change, so it's one. That's two. One more. If this is one, what's this? So it's... How can you do that with your fingers, honestly? So it was tree that he flashed the first time. Three? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. But I don't recognize you. What? You don't remember me? No. But that's okay. Sweet. You wouldn't have gotten the password right if you weren't a member. Sure. The winning number will be two red. All right. That was... If I'd concentrated more, it would have been a lot easier. But uh, I wasn't, so... It, well, I didn't, so it wasn't, but... I, I, it's like... You can't win if you don't play. Well, shut up and I'll play. Easy money. Hello. How you doing? Let's see. I'd like to place a bet. I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. 
Oh, yeah. Here. At least I can afford that. Okay, kid. Which number you want? Two red. I'd like two red. Okay. Here we go. I assume if you don't get the the winning number from the password door, then you just lose automatically. No matter, even if I had guessed two red without a guess, uh, you know, the help of the password dude. Is this just gonna keep going forever? Oh no, it's slowing down. Two red. You're a winner, kid. Huzzah! What of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a three-day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. Well, which will it be? I was wondering if he was going to stiff me on the vacation, but I like the invitation. I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations. Thanks. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. So that seems important. I think next time out, we're going to want to go to Booty Island and visit Elaine. We're not going to end the episode quite yet, though. I'd just like to see what's on the path. There's a lot here that maybe we'll call it an episode. Otherwise, we'll just carry on. So we're here. Captain Dredge's ship is there. There's a cottage there. There's the, I guess, the governor's mansion there. Can we get to the cottage? There's a beach. And the cottage. I can't reach it. Ah, oh, dang. I can't reach it. Waterfall. That's a nice waterfall. Very picturesque. Indeed. Oh, you can go to the path either way. But that's all you can do with the waterfalls, just say very picturesque. Oh. What's this doing in a pirate game? That's a good question. What is that? That's all we got. What's this doing in a pirate game? Yeah. Okay. I get the distinct feeling. If I know anything about cartoons and water pumps, it's I'm going to need some sort of apparatus to dry up the waterfall. And if we can go back down this way, I have a hypothesis as to what it might do. Now, there's either going to be something behind the waterfall, which is possible. Or, hypothetically, it'll dry things up in such a way that it allows us to cross over to the cottage here. Let's take a look at uh, the mansion, see if there's anything we can uh, pick up from Governor Fat's mansion. Can we open the gate? Well, that was easy. Hang on, wait. What, what did I have the staples button here for? That was easy. Ha! <laughs> I knew I kept the staples button around for some reason. All right, I guess we're going into the Governor's mansion. Still looks like it belongs in Scarface rather than Monkey Island, but hey, I'm not going to be Peggy. You should use the invitation you want to go to the party. Yes, yes, well, I will do that. Uh-oh. Nice. we got a guard. Stairs. Uh, we should probably deal with... The oh, hang on a second, hang on, hang on. It's the dude from Grim Fandango there. I can't... I've never played Grim Fandango, so it's just... I know it's the Grim Fandango dude there. Is he in the old version? No, it's just a generic old-timey photo. But, I mean, that makes sense, because... This would have been, like... We are talking about this earlier. This game was released in 91, and Grim Fandango was around 97, 98 that it was released. I want to say 98. So, obviously, it's not going to, you know, the character from... Grim Fandango's not going to be in Monkey Island 2 when it came out, you know, seven years after Monkey Island 2, so. But they can do that for the special edition, and, and they've done things like that in, I think we saw that in the last special edition as well, Monkey Island, Secret Monkey Island special edition. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? Well, Walt let me out. Uh, let's see, I got time off for good behavior. 
Must be confusing me with guy cousin Guybrush. Governor Fat had me set free, yes, but I broke out. And I got time off for good behavior. Oh. Let's see, can I go upstairs? Can I go upstairs? I'm sorry, but the governor doesn't want to be disturbed while he's eating. Hmm, I don't want to disturb the governor while he's eating. Let's see, I think there's a fire in the kitchen. I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I'd better check it out. Good work, good sir. And we can't get down there, but that's outside, that's the sum of our what we can do there. All right. Onwards. Sleeping like a baby. A baby elephant. Well, he's, he's still eating. There's a bed table. That's well away from him. I don't think this has been washed in about 10 years. Let's see. The wash basin. There we go. There's food or something stuck in the drain. Oh, that's good. It seems to go off before stuff comes out of the tube. And then, alright, so... Famous pirate quotations. Now that wouldn't just be laying there for a reason, would it? The cover says, Famous pirate quotations. Alright, well. Careful with those snacks, Eugene. I think I almost woke him up. Okay. <laughs> My single-handed defeat of the Fudge Brigade was rather amazing. Okay. How the hell do we do this? You need that book on Governor Fat's stomach. What can we, we can we... Show me again how to hypnotize a rhino with an all-day sucker. All right, what have we got? Do we have something in my inventory that we can use with that? A key. Lighthouse lens. An envelope. Got a book. Are we doing the Indiana Jones thing? I think we're doing the Indiana Jones thing here. We are definitely doing the Indiana Jones thing here. <laughs> this is... <laughs> awesome balls. Sadly, we didn't get a chance to read next to nothing. We'll take, we'll take the book. Why do we need famous pirate quotations, though? Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Rap scallion. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Old Skunk Eye. You. <laughs> Fester Leech. Violets are blue, roses are red. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Commander <laughs> Buttonhead. That's Not awesome. Wash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Barney Gout. Indeed. There's a nice little Blazing Saddles reference there for you. All right, well, I think that seems pretty good. I'm assuming it's going to yell at me, make your way to Governor Marley's Mansion. I think, I do believe, I do believe that's a good place for us to leave this episode of Monkey Island to the Chuck's Revenge. Next time out, we're going to hop aboard Captain Dread's ship, and I think that we should head off to Booty Island to reunite with Elaine. Somehow, though, I don't think she'll be particularly happy to see me since, well, her book about us was next to nothing. I'm just going to keep using that sting every time I hear next to nothing. Or say. Yeah, you get it. All right. Before I get a copyright strike for breaking Benjamin references, that's all the time we have for this time on Monkey Island 2. But we'll be back next time with more. So until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air. That is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2 in the playlist there on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.